good afternoon. I'm painting a little bit early today. I have two colors and a little bit of an idea of what I want to paint today. So we're going to do green and this beautiful pink, dragon fruit pink from Boulder Colors. So I put a few tiny dots of this minty green on the paper. And I'm using a brush I haven't used in a while. Also using paper that I haven't used in a while. So I've got Baohong paper and this silver crystal pointed oval brush. We're gonna do some bigger blooms. And just like that, I've remembered how much I love this brush <laughs> and this paper. So this pretty pink is made with, or made from dragon fruit. And then let's do one more here. I'm going to turn it just so I can pull the petals towards myself. And then maybe a little bud here. Okay. So those are my florals. Just one color for the petal, one little color for the centers, and I'm going to use my favorite green from Boulder Colors, Buckthorn Berry. Thank you, Sophie. Okay, this is such a gorgeous green. Uh, and I'm going to use my Princeton Petals brush, size 8 because I can get a nice thin stem and really pretty leaves. So, there we go, stem one. I always have to pay attention to this part because I will inevitably leave a bloom without a stem if I'm not paying attention. In this part, you don't have to have steady hands. It's okay if it shakes a bit because it's loose florals. These are watercolors. I know I went in a little thick with that color right there, but these will thin out if you use some water. I just like that look. I do have gouache, but I haven't used it in a long time. And then We've got this one. I'm gonna try and fill that up a little bit. And then curve that stem. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I haven't really done florals in this style in a while. I've been gravitating towards my round four, very small. Um, doing some other types of flowers, mostly roses. I just needed this today. Kind of going over that. One more. Um, 
choosing who I want it to belong to. <laughs> this is a Princeton Petals brush. This was actually in a set, uh, Velvet Touch. It was a floral set, I think Esther Peck. And she uses it for, for petals, for hydrangea, really. And I came to love its shape for, for leaves. So let me show you that. Melissa, you're new to painting and you're trying out watercolor first. I hope to paint flowers eventually. I started painting with flowers. Um, yesterday we, on the live, talked about the little online course that I took. It was free course. Show me your florals. And lots of people signed up right then and there. It's still available. I think when I was doing it, um, it was sort of the live launch. Um, and so lots of people were doing the same day at the same time. So you built a little community, but you can do it anytime. Um, and so I think it was day three, you got to start painting florals right away. And thank you. I saw the comment about my nails. Um, I had to get a little penguin in there. And I, I didn't like them at all yesterday when I did them. And then I added the little silver swirl and now I love them. <laughs> so thank you for that. Okay, I really don't like this guy sticking out there. I will somehow camouflage him with some leaves. And since I haven't painted flowers like this in a while, I was considering doing two paintings, different paper. I think I need some like bigger leaves coming off here and here. So bigger branches and that'll cover up my little extra long bud that's crawling up there. So let's see, you're seeing every day how I cover up my mistakes. <laughs> so let's see this. Let's do this and then I can even add a little butt on the top of that. And then maybe do some leaves off that one. And then some leaves like this over here and here. I think that's where I'm going to go with this. It's all practice. Okay, let that dry up a little bit. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> I appreciate it. more leaves. I wanted this one to be a little bit on the simple side, but no, no such luck. I do like these leaves though, so if this whole painting was just meant for me to paint these leaves, I think it's worth it. I want to do that up here, curl it up, and then I'll kind of set this off to the side and do another one and see if I need to come back and add anything. So since this one's drooping kind of over, I don't want to do the exact same thing. I don't want it to be like a mirror image thing. So in this case, I'm going to kind of pre-decide how my stem is going to look, and then add in my leaves to that. <laughs> Feel a little rusty with this. Maybe I'll do some really light ones in some of these gaps so it doesn't look like there's holes. <laughs> Something like that. All right, 
What do we think? Did I fix that? Looks cohesive. I'm still looking for the little gaps. I think it looks much better now. Perfect, Melissa says. Okay, so I guess that's my stopping point. I'll let that dry off to the side. And the water on the petal is about to drip down the page. This guy, I just saw it. Yeah, I'm trying to get it so that I'll concentrate the color right there. Thank you. <laughs> you know, if that did happen, what I would do is I would add some pink splatter, I'd get my paper towel, kind of dab it up, then I'd, I'd go over it to make it look intentional. But thank you for saving me so I don't have to do that. Okay. I'm gonna do another pink-green combo. Um, I'll do it. Oh, so many choices. <laughs> so I have another pink in here. This is from Red Cabbage. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use that as my pink for this one. And green. So many choices. Um, this, this set of colors right in here is from the Fantastic Plants collection of Boulder Colors. I think these two make a nice earthy green. I'm gonna try that for my green color. And I haven't painted with this paper in a while either. This is Leather Village handmade paper. I think I'll use my Princeton Neptune for this. Um, kind of similar floral vibe, I think. Hopeful Optimist, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I am still on break. I am still enjoying painting whenever I feel like it. Suggs, I just used my expired tattoo ink to paint with kind of like watercolor. It was interesting. That is interesting. I'd love to see what you came up with. Um, if you don't post it, can you send it to me in some way? That's really cool. Over the summer, I got into Java ink a little bit. Like Henna, but a beautiful blue. I want to do more of that. But that's interesting to use it on paper. You, you did it on paper, like watercolor? This is almost like fabric. Okay, so here, pink. Oh, so many, so many different flowers that I could do. I don't really want to go for a rose. I just did that last night. Um, okay, I'm using pink. It can kind of be the same style flower we just saw. Suggs, yes, on paper. Cool. Okay. Peony? Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Peony tulips. <laughs> okay, I saw peony. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've done that. Um, okay. Let me get a little yellow to kind of guide me. Okay. Two votes for peony. All right. All right, so... Be warned, I haven't done this in a while. It's up to you, I guess, to decide if I did a good job painting a peony. Got the petals that are close to the center. Kind of want another layer around it. And then I kind of build out from there. This is just one way to paint a peony. There are plenty of other ones, especially when you get involved with the angles of how you're viewing it. See, that's kind of as big as I want it to get. any adjacent, would you say? And then we got to get those leaves in there. Okay. 
stunning. Molly, that is so sweet. Ariel, you guys are just too kind. Okay, let me grab this, um, this green that I was mentioning earlier from the Fantastic Plants collection. Thank you, everyone. Way to make a girl feel special. <laughs> and I hope I made it approachable. Like, you, you could do that. <laughs> this is doable. Okay, so here we go. A little stem. Again, kind of wiggly. Not too perfect. I'm going to make a little bud or branch here. Ooh, maybe bud here kind of leaves. Okay. So let me kind of place where I want my butt to go. Something like that. Jess, thank you. Okay. And then... Okay. Going from my memory here of leaves. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just evoking the idea of peonies. So if it's not completely true to the leaf, I don't mind. Just like the, the little bleeds. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna dab in a little of that yellow, I think, that I used in there. Okay, bud now. Back to the red cabbage color. And then... Okay, I must say that came out way better than I was expecting. That's some muscle memory there. That looks like a bud. And then it's got to have some greenery around that to kind of hold it together. Oof, no pressure. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking it. Honestly, I don't like these leaves at all. I should have just went with my normal leaves and I can still change it. I just, I don't know. I guess I was thinking too much peony, not enough, do what I want. <laughs> okay. Mm, I'm pretty happy. Maybe I'm gonna do a little touch of yellow in there. That just warms it up, I think, just a tiny bit. I don't want to overdo that. Atnamas, thank you. The butt is perfect. I'm quite proud of it. Yeah. Maybe not the leaves, but that part I'm happy with. <laughs> um... So now I'm going to go back to that first painting. I'm going to see if there's anything I would change. The paper is really cool. Hopeful Optimist. This is Leather Village handmade paper. Um, kind of like fabric almost. It's definitely paper. There's just a really beautiful texture to it. Okay. And if you were with me for the first one, this petal is still wet. I just think that's funny. Um, I think I'm done with this one. I 
I think I am. <laughs> it's at this point I'm thinking about a little reminder on my phone. Um, I could go in with some ink, possibly. I don't know, I kind of like how it looks right now, so I don't feel like touching it. Thank you, hopeful optimist. Thank you, sometimes love. <laughs> yes, this color is made from dragon fruit. It was from the Harry Potter Advent set from Boulder Color. It's just gorgeous looking in the pan right there. And then the pink I used for uh, our peony, it just, you can already tell it looks just softer and more muted and it is beautiful on the paper. Okay, I, I think that's it for today. If you see my painting at a point in the future that looks very similar to this and the leaves look different, I probably painted over it. I'm feeling the urge. <laughs> but thank you guys for helping me choose what to paint and chatting through this. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I know. We're our worst critics, really. Um, I probably will pop on after, like in an hour or something. I'll probably paint one more thing. Will I be live tomorrow? Um, yes. Yes, I will be live tomorrow. I don't have anything planned at our usual time. Yeah, I'll probably be live in about an hour and a half, something like that. Um, but just one painting, just a small one. All right, that is it for this session. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day if I don't see you later. Um, it's been great. Thank you, everyone.